of armed forces personnel killed since World War II and to get a new medal to recognise their loss. Christian has the details and more of the day's news. The Elizabeth Cross will be granted to the next of kin of those servicemen and women who've died on operations. It's the first time a reigning monarch has given their name to a new award since the George Cross in 1940. Around 8,000 service men and women have died on operations since 1948. Their families now to receive recognition for their loss. Each will be granted the Elizabeth Cross made of silver with the name engraved on the back. They'll receive, too, a scroll signed by the Queen, who spoke in a message to the armed forces today of the nation's debt of gratitude to the families. This seems to me a right and proper way of showing our enduring debt to those who are killed while actively protecting what is most dear to us all. The solemn dignity which we attach to the names of those who have fallen is deeply ingrained in our national character. As a people, we accord this ultimate sacrifice the highest honour and respect. What we wanted to do was recognise the burden that the families of those who have died for their country, the burden that they bear for the rest of their lives. And, and so this is focused very much on the families rather than the individual who died. Both regular and reserve forces will be eligible, not just from Iraq or Afghanistan, but from operations since World War II, including Palestine, Kenya, Malaya, the Falklands and Northern Ireland. Well, earlier today, the Queen was in Edinburgh to mark the 10th anniversary of devolution in Scotland. After meeting the First Minister and other party leaders, she urged the Scottish Parliament to continue to reflect the priorities and aspirations of all the people of Scotland during a speech in the new Parliament building. A vicar from East Sussex has been charged over an alleged marriage scam involving illegal immigrants. The Reverend Alex Brown...